What's up, my Koopa Troop? It's Koops. And Enob. Welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville on the Nintendo Switch. We did Team Vanquish in the last two episodes, and this time we'll be trying out another online mode, Turf Takeover. A fan favorite, classic with the uh, from the original Garden Warfare, brought back again for Battle for Neighborville. But this time it's called Turf Takeover because there was Herbal Assault added to Garden Warfare 2, which... Originally, yeah, originally it was the zombies attacking the plants. And the first time around, the only plants could only defend and Gardens zombies and only attacked yeah. mm -hmm. in Gardens of Graveyard. And then they eventually added the other mode for plants the to attack. Herbal Assault, yeah. Herbal Assault. But now with this game, they combine them both together called Turf Takeover. And so you have a mix of either zombies attacking plants or vice versa. And I can't say I've played much or at all. Mm -hmm. I don't even know this map. Yeah, Enob is the one playing right here. Right, this is actually the latest of the Turf Takeover maps added to this game uh, before the updates stop occurring. Yep. Uh, preserved Pastures, pretty nice little area. We're supposed to, as the plants team, defend a pickle from being um, shrunk by the zombie team. Oh, it's, yes, it's, they... it's one of those tactical, it's like oh. not, not the tactical cuke from the original one, but it's like a giant. That, cucumber say, that, that squishes. That, that sounds like, like a, a tactical cuke. You, th you think it'd be a giant squash, like you know how the original Plants for Zombies games had them, but I think since we're defending, let's go ahead and pick out the Citron, a character from Interesting Garden Warfare oh. 2, but he's got a little bit of a different look to this in this game. So let's try it out and uh, also try out see how the turf takeover works on the Nintendo Switch online. Well, we've, they got the first point contested. Mm -hmm. We probably took too long in the menu screen. Yeah, there. perhaps. They are not looking at you, is the good news. But they are also doing a lot of damage. Yep. Oh, oh. quite a lot of damage. There's actually quite a few zombies around that Where point. are all the plants? <laughs> I am not sure where our plant team is. That was kind of a 1v6 I, right there. I, I, th I think we kind of given up on that point, haven't we? Yeah, I think so too. Oh, they've already at the uh, end there. Yeah, well, uh, as long as we have one plant on that point, it'll be contested. And have to. Oh. Nice. Cool. Yep. And if multiple people are reviving a plant or a fallen teammate, it'll revive faster. So that was why I stayed there to do that. We probably should have actually jumped onto the point to help defend that, but you know what? Let's just stay behind, behind him. you. Yeah. Oh, TV zombie. Or TV head zombie. <laughs> Defend the bar. Can't really tell if that was actual player TV head or just a regular one that they summoned in to help attack the point. All right, defend the barn. So actually, we're now on the kind of third point before the final push from the zombies. So we get, again, we jump. Well, I did get the attack off, but the imp also got me with that. Oof. Mm. Almost, almost got him, actually. Hey. Oh, they're being revived. I'm not sure it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, but... especially since. Ooh. Oh, well. Maybe you can do something here with this. No, nope, maybe not. Let's just run away. <laughs> we gotta defend the barn. Oh my gosh, they're already in. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're already they're all coming right behind you. Yeah. Getting a lot of damage in, but. There we go. Uh, you're uh, I'm dead. <laughs> There's probably no way dead. to get out. 3v1 here. sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> or 1v3, I should say. Oof. They're all over here, too. The scientist's doing a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. With the scientists and a bunch of those guys, I was in the wrong place. Yeah. Those are tanky guys. And mm. you don't do a lot of damage as a Citron. You do kind of consistent damage. And you're yeah. relatively tanky yourself mm -hmm. at 200 health. Yep. Again, best suited for a defense role. Like, I can take that shot. No problem. Except not when I'm being surrounded by zombies on all sides. Oof. Yeah, maybe you need to... I pushed it maybe a little too far too forward. Because yeah, there's think. no other plants to help uh, defend me there. Or to get my back. Or my sides, in that case. Oh, they got the first uh, checkpoint on our point. Let's get in there, plants. They got a lot of zombies in there. Oh, 
There we go. Got one. Okay. Guy behind you, they're melting you. Yep. Yep. And they got, the, unfortunately, got the point. Barn already, yeah. <laughs> nice roll. He's trying to run away. He's in the wrong area, dude. You're in our point, and. Well, they got the point, so I think it's their point. Well, but the thing is, with this point, like, the floor falls out or collapses, and everyone has to jump down and now begin a different part oh, of the quest. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, not much I can do because all the zombies are now spawning then above above us and dropping down. Mm -hmm. So I was in a bad spot again. Maybe we should just ran back to defend. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> uh, I guess now I should explain what's going on with this part. So stop the gargs. Yeah, so there's actually two gargs on the zombie side, kind of where we drop down through the hole in the floor. They're trying to carry big bombs over to a cucumber who's kind of marinating or whatever in some pickle juice. I guess he's trying to, yeah, just we're kind of trying to make him grow large to attack the zombies with. Um, to stop the gargs, you have to stop the zombies, and you can kind of tell how many zombies are with a garg by the number of yep. arrows next to the bomb icon. Oh, that was a little bit of a glitch there. There we go. Nice. Do a little, so again, my shield is quite tanky, so it's a good idea to kind of stick out front and block some of the shots here. Did you push the guard back? No. I can only prevent it from moving for, farther forward by kind of getting in front of it. Or you can also, yeah, sorry, you can also shoot it. I should, I should mention that. You can actually take it down, but it's quite tanky. Oh, I think this, yeah, I think he respawns and didn't quite, the game didn't quite catch up with that. Yeah, we gotta take out this guy. Now, with this final push, it's actually really easy for plants to kind of win this. Because, again, all the plant team has to do is just kind of run up to one guard and just destroy it real quickly. <laughs> well, the zombie team has to try their best to prevent that from happening, but we're kind of well situated back here. Yeah, I see that. Let's see? I just took it out myself. <laughs> and the other guard has barely left their base. Oh, but it does respawn, though, so yep. you have a chance. Maybe she used her, used her roll earlier. Yeah. I think it's, I'm taking this dude, so I should be able to win that fight pretty easily. Yeah. I well, think he was trying to hide somewhere. You got that. Yep. He stuck a sticky heal bomb on me to try to heal himself while attacking me, but... Well, you know, he can't help him now that he's dead. No, dead. he's dead. <laughs> yeah, it didn't end up working. All right. Probably should also put some potted plants up. Again, they're free, just on a cooldown timer. That's all. This is a good beam one. Sign to yeah. him for the right there. I see him, but I'm going to focus on beaming down this. But he's healing it, I think. Oh, yeah. Sign just can't actually heal it. Ooh. Got the long roll over. Oh. <laughs> so I brought in a odd Hasami, but... No more of that. <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> Another Garg down. Woo. Yeah, that is really hard. They have to all stay alive and, and shoot against you. Yep. And the thing is, it's not just, you know, one Garg's at the end point. It's four. <laughs> yeah, so the team, zombie team really has to be quite coordinated slash get kind of lucky that this, the plant's team isn't so well. Oof. Uh, it, Traded. Yeah. I think you could have won that. You missed your roll earlier. I know you're yeah. trying to get out of there. But you could yeah. also, I think, hit him on the way out. Yeah. A little bit of four plan there, but oh well. Traded kills vanquishes. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Looks like our, our plant team is already take, pretty much about to take out the blue Garg there. Yeah, so yeah, I'll health. just go ahead and see what I can do against this orange Garg on the side. Oh, who should I put here? Let's try, let's try to write in lead there. Okay. There's one right there. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, no. Oh, darn it. The roll yeah. actually got stopped by the guard. Yeah, you can't get past the guard, guys. No. Nope. nope. I should really roll out of here. Not good. And there's actually a good uh, attacking point from up there, too, but... They're all getting sniped down. Yeah. Get out of your health back. Get out of here. Oof. Well, I got rid of the shield, though. Did he bomb? Uh, no, he, the guard didn't make it. I think that sound no, the effect imp, was just a... Uh, bomb. I mean, it would have killed you. Oh, um, I'm not too sure. It probably was an imp bomb. <laughs> I think it like there was some I'm not sure why the guy was reviving you. Yeah, we, it really, was kind of in the middle of a battle there. Really terrible spot to do that. Yeah, well, we took out one of the guards, which is what that other sound effect was playing earlier. This, this, uh, some other zombies. There's, like, there's a couple of zombies on this one guy. But not too many. Yep. Does the stun slow them down? Yeah, slow them down and they can't attack. Oh, so they just put a random little zombie on it? That's fine. Let's knock you out of here. Completely stop you. There we go. There cool. We go. Guy up there on top, all star. Yep. You're doing no damage. Oh, because of his extra armor, right? Yeah, because there's a TV head there giving him extra armor. Whoa. Not good. Oh, you're in a bad spot. Yep. Ah, oh, darn it. Can you just get, it, get the roll out? No. Or run away, even. Yep. Now all the zombies, I think I should to try to protect this one guard over here because he's the closest to our point. It's also overtime, though. That's all it's overtime, yeah. So the thing is, not only do they have to get this guard to the goal, but they have to get the other ones to get all four knocked out. So well, it is very, very here. unlikely, but I think it's a little they're trying. Yeah, the blue one. They got two on the orange, right? Oh, there's one down. They're probably going to uh, transition across over. Oh, guy coming right here. Yeah, I missed. Nice. Ooh, there we go. Nice and done, plants. Yeah, that's right, Super Brains. <laughs> Your long range isn't as good as mine. So get the roll up, but... Yep, I'm going to see if I can knock some zombies away from it. Get behind. Hit them, though. There we go. What's happened with that? I guess he was getting health back from healing as well. Yeah. That's one of the uh, abilities that a scientist can pick up. Is heal while healing yourself. Nice. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened there to me. I think, oh, I think a quick escape from the 80s action zombie took me out at the very end. But regardless, the plants win. It's run, zombies, run. The cuke is out. <laughs> oh. What am I looking at? Right? <laughs> and now we all just get to laugh and celebrate in the back. <laughs> so close, but our team successfully defended the last point because, again, that last point is very, very difficult for the zombies to win. That I rarely ever see that happen. With, that, with I would say, victory. is a reoccurring problem in this mode where it is a lot of fun, but most every single map I notice has an issue where one point or another is just impossible mm -hmm. for either the attacking team or the defending team to do something about yep. So it seemed like, again, the zombies were doing pretty well up until that last checkpoint. Oh, they were rolling you guys. But then that last <laughs> yeah. section, they just uh they, Yeah, it's just really anywhere. difficult. Again, it has to be really well coordinated or like a bunch of a couple of zombies will have to like actually move into like our side of that area. Like almost mm -hmm. get into like our base. And, How did uh, the scoreboard look? Take out uh, us plants. Well, but. 16 Vanquish and you joined a little late. That's pretty yeah. good. Pretty solid. Let's do another turf takeover. Enob played the last one and ended up winning on the defensive team, barely holding the last point. And this time, Enob's playing again, but we're going to be on the attacking team this right. time around. On turning point is a herbal assault map, a new one to Battle for Neverville. Uh, who should I play as now? We did the Citron for defense. You're on the attack. Do you want to play as an attacker? Yeah, maybe. Or or do you want me to play? I can play. I can Are be you a sure? Snapdragon. Okay. Want to play as Snapdragon? Yeah. All right. 
the Snapdragon. Nice. Okay, this is also we're fairly close to the start of this map, which is great. Uh, this first point is pretty easy for the plants to capture. Essentially, you're just uh, capturing a payload that's just hanging up there. Now, there you saw it. It dropped down. Essentially, it's just a giant pomegranate bomb. Uh, bomb yeah, pomegranate. That's what they're called. And you just have to now uh, guide it all the way to a certain point to blow up a wall or a barricade. This is a zombie one, right? On. I can't use that? No, like, what? No, nope. you can grow plants. Mm-hmm. This won't really help us, Grow though. weeds. To they can help. walk, at least. With yeah, us. they can walk with They also help direct the... Um, the actual cart. Whoa. Yeah, but the zombies are. Ooh. Nice. Like, that lands somewhere. Yeah. I was hoping he'd land over there. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So that's actually uh, an ability you've got with the the upgrade. Where did yeah. go? Where did he go? The scientist, did he die? I think this. Yeah, that's the cactus. Body. Yeah, the cactus sniped him. Oh. Oh, but still following him. Chase him, blue blazes. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Nice. <laughs> well, I didn't do anything. Blue blazes yeah. home done. Dang, that was quite the the strong homing on I it. I don't think it. I didn't think it home that much. Yeah. So with the the uh, rank up to um, advanced, you got some new abilities that we're trying out here. Um, one that also that helps do some cooldown with abilities, as well as one that helps cool down your overheat uh, for your main weapon. Oh, sorry. The other one is actually so one of yeah, one of the upgrades was both the cooldown for abilities and for your main weapon, and the other one is where when you vanquish an enemy, they'll leave a column of fire for their corpses. Oh, please burn, burn. The burn goes on after. Burn, a little yeah, bit, it does it? just a little bit. It wasn't enough. Oh, nope, I, I think the yeah, but the. Uh, Nightcap will take care of it. I don't. Think no, he's not coming back. There's there's a turret on top of your uh, your corpse there. So Let's uh, see here, where do I need to go? This. Oh, yep. I spawned a ways away. Yeah, that's yeah. This you're is a long spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I went a little too aggressive there when I turned. I knew turning the corner would not be probably the smartest plan. But I didn't you, want to throw my fire. You can go either. down. Or you can go up. Going up was the kind of a sneaky way to get to the zombies. The going down would be go kind up, of the so. way to uh, kind of help push the cart. So up this way. Yeah, just up that little ramp there. Oh, up the ramp. Yeah. Well, actually, your plants are doing a great job right now. I've already I mean, I'm through this part, which this I'm part right support. here is usually contended quite well by the zombies. However, it looks like your plant team is quite good, so they're just pushing on through quite with uh, not too much effort. Get the cheerful plant. <laughs> I'm gonna go Whistling. actually this way past him. I think he backed up. Yeah, again with that rocket ride. Be able to kind of move quite a ways. Ooh. Oh, Blue Blaze got stuck on a the wall there. Still got him. Don't worry. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, actually, yeah, you you, uh, you helped take that Vanquish. And it, uh, wait, it kind of considered as your Vanquish. Even though the Nightcap took care of him, a Calm of Fire still appeared. So a shared Vanquish, I think, will also uh, still give also you that Calm count, of Fire. Yeah. Interesting. I, I thought the burn would get him. What was that all That's about? That's a lot of uh, lag. Well, not lag. Just Frame rate steering, I think. Oh. No, oh, he's part of it still. Where did my fire go? You you blew it into the ground. The R? Oh no, the blue blazes. Yeah, but the R. You had it you had that ability up? I fired it. I didn't even see it go off. <laughs> oh I definitely fired that. If I didn't, it's my mistake, but I'm pretty sure hmm. I fired it right after the blue blaze. Well, we've been noticing quite a few weird things going on with the uh the fire. burning wall. Um Flame wall, everyone? whatever it is. <laughs> Probably. Should. But yeah, get some blue blazes off. That's a good one. Yeah, nice. Oh, what's up, Buffy? Oh, never mind. Nice down below nice now. Nice to share <laughs> Vanquish. Create a little calm. Well, that was your fire, but fire wall, but nice little calm of fire. Weird. Where did this come from? Yeah, I still have to see how effective that is, a little calm of fire, but I guess it is kind of uh, kind of scary to see, <laughs> for a zombie to see when they're just like, <laughs> wait, that was one of my zombie brethren. Now <laughs> he's just a pillar of flames. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all hanging out up there. <laughs> no. I got sniped. Oh, but actually, no. The big reason that's good is they can't revive him easily. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, because oh. there's a flame. There's a, just a calm of fire there. No, don't get him up. Get me up. Wait. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and sunflower heals faster and gets you back to full health right away. Nice. Oh, they took care of everyone else. I don't know if you want to heal people. All right. You can, oh, you can help heal. Oh, never mind. Nice. 
Oh, that works. There, that's a bad spot right there because they're all looking, looking that way down that way. Oh, I think you guys took out enough zombies. Oh, there's a zombie behind you. I think Chris? Club Nightcap. I think he's fighting them off. Yeah, it was an all-star. Still there. Nice. Hey, nice little backup. Oh, hey. Get rid of that rocket bot. Oh, even the rocket bots explode into flames. Yeah, there's these guys up here. Yep. Jump up. Hey. Oh my hey, got gosh. Him? Oh, oh, got that one poor guy that just fell down. Oh, he's just getting with all these rockets. Uh, kind of. Actually, no. He... Again, the rocket ride's pretty effective because you can move around a bit and fire a bunch of rockets, but the rockets kind of go everywhere to where you're aiming. It's not entirely active. That's a weird dummy shield. I'm trying to get my health back up. This is actually a really smart play then. Yeah. Or blue blazes perhaps. Oh, but yeah, the, the blue blazes using <laughs> that after you use the other abilities helps them cool down faster. That's the- How do uh, I get up there? Have. Ooh, nice. You're getting some with the flame wall. I'm really trying to get up there, but it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Where's the yeah. where's the pillar of flame? Wait. Yeah. What Did happened? I just kill that guy? Yeah. Huh. Who is reviving me? Oh, Ninja? nightcap. Nice Did, sneaky he nightcap. Kill? He might have. How do I get up there? Wait, no. I think ramp? you guys we killed each other. Maybe. No. Uh, you think you probably have to like push back a little farther? Even. Oh, nice. That was... There you go. Good. Good help there. Oh, no. Out of ah. bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's scary. Oh, that's scary, too. Oh, he missed. And I think Died the fire. fire. Well, no. I guess the fire doesn't take him out. Okay, this guy got the kill, apparently. So my wait, slam would have killed. Wait, what's going on, plants? Is it about, well, it's almost over. They're still pushing it. Oh, no. Uh -oh, oh, no. I'm having too much fun. Yeah, uh-oh. Wait. Okay, that did distract him for a bit, but that wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Okay, it's contested still over time. You get to the point. Oh, but there's all the zombies there. All the zombies there. It's going down. Yeah, that's not looking good. Ooh, I guess maybe. I I guess I just needed to get up there and help out a little bit more. I, ah, that's it. Ooh, oh, geez. geez. Dang it. You might have had some fun back in, in behind their kind of sp or back in their spawn area but your team was doing really good up until that point and again that's actually perhaps even a bigger choke point but a lot of games usually will end at that second so point how however you, when you get to that third point yeah good luck trying to get past how do you there. get up there because if i had gotten up on top of that thing i think i could have done a lot better i think better. you just go to the right there's, farther to the right yeah i think there's some there might be a ramp up there or you can maybe jump up to that Point well, there. I got to take the blame then for that loss because I didn't help at all to start. And then later on, I kind of forgot what I was doing <laughs> and just had fun. Perhaps the, maybe what you could do also, to, if you couldn't get up there, you could maybe try to fire Blue Blazes shot up there to maybe at least make them scatter a bit. Yeah, Blue Blaze maybe could have done better. Or you just stand underneath them and just flame them up from be below. I also could have stood back a ways and then did the long range shot, oh, which I almost you, never used. Actually, I don't think you ever used Did you ever use that once? I zoomed in a couple times. Oh, okay, but, okay. <laughs> but, you know, didn't really do that very much. So I definitely have a lot I can learn on. But this is probably my third or fourth game I've played, so yeah. mm -hmm. still have a ways to go. Hey, but you still got 2.0 vanquished of vanquished ratio. <laughs> yeah, but I was also at the bottom of the uh, <laughs> scoreboard for my team, so sorry about that. What is mm. this? Peachy District. Ooh, this is perhaps my favorite of the new Turf Takeover well, then I'll maps. Let, I'll let you play this one, Enob. It's, this my whole map reminds me of Garden, uh, yeah, Garden War for one. Oh, it's back in uh, uh, Town Center. Gardens and Graveyards maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Town Center. It's just a push to the town center itself. Hey, where are the zombies finally? And the attacking team. Yeah, so again, also another uh, way it feels like old school Garden Warfare 1 is because the zombies are attacking. <laughs> um, so we play as 80s action hero, uh, all star. We do actually have some challenges for the scientists. So scientist. I'll go ahead and try to play as a scientist then. Now, the scientist, I haven't really played him in this version, but he's definitely more healing, right? Mm -hmm. This time around? Yeah, they definitely try to make sort of make or make or players be more of a healer as a scientist. 
You get a lot more experience healing. Um, there's no heal beam anymore. It's actually this heal kind of uh, hose. And you can heal multiple zombies at a time. In fact, also overheal. To be completely mm -hmm. fair to that, the heal beam was pretty uninteractive as a player. Yeah. Just literally click RB back in the day um, yep. when you were near someone. And mm. if people were not clicking RB, you kind of got annoyed because yep. they're right next to you and they should literally always be healing. There's nothing better for them to mm -hmm. be doing. But now the heal hose actually prevents you from attacking at the same time. So it makes it a bit harder to attack. Again, it kind of helps push more and in then the you scientists survive, right? into a healing role. Yeah. There we go. Wait, now we can overheal the space cadet. So then, what are your? Oh, this is what, this is the bot. <laughs> what are your abilities? Oh. L. So L, there's no actually sticky bomb uh, in this game. That's a big bummer. I love the sticky bomb and I love the heal bomb. They were two different things. The heal bomb would roll mm. and then explode after a short time. It did a big heal. You could place down a turret heal mm -hmm. station, um, and they also added sticky bombs, which would explode in the old game. I see the teleport's the same though, the X. Well, kind of, but also it's actually a bit stronger. Oop, oh gosh. You're getting... Oh, ah, from behind, yeah. I figured that's not really a safe spot to hide, per se. Um, but yeah, so uh, with the warp, it's instantaneous. It no longer has like a sort of little startup where he clicks the button to yeah. warp. He just does it right away. This is kind of another point of contention with Battle of Neighborville compared to like the other uh, Garden Warfare games. Because the instant warp can be very frustrating to fight against. Looks like we got there's like quite a few bots. Oh boy. Quite a few bots. Are yeah. You the other, so the, what do you mean by bots? Let's see if I can pull up a. There it is. Yeah. So Colonel Corn, Nightcap, Rose, Sunflower on the uh, space cadet, TV head, Foot Soldier, Scientist, oh, over, Captain Debbie. Oh my gosh. Half so, our team is bots. Yeah. Over half our team is bots. Yeah. So this is the kind of the problem that's currently plaguing other uh, versions of the game. Well, we're kind of now seeing the same issue on the Switch, but although... This game just released, and I thought they, they had a lot of people buy it, actually. Yeah, I've been hearing, actually, that on Amazon, it's one of the top like the top five new games being sold on the Switch, from Amazon, that is. So, <laughs> but it is an indicator that it's, apparently it's doing not in fairly our game. well. No, and it also it depends on when you're playing online, too. This might yeah. not be the best of times to be playing online. Yeah, a little late as we're yeah. trying to mm -hmm. take over, but right. uh, speaking of that... We haven't captured anything. Oh my anything. gosh, it's really tough. It is a tough spot. Okay, Space Cadet. I don't know what. Your, your bot's not. Your bot's an actual Space Cadet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that's bad. Like, like, what am I going to do here with uh, most of my team just being bots? Yeah, that's not a prompt. I mean, that was a bot there. Corn. Yeah, but the thing is, bots defending can be a lot better than bots attacking because the bots defending will just sit on a point, and bots attacking, we can't really coordinate with them. They'll just yeah. kind of do their own thing. No, that's true. Uh, so essentially, the bots defending are coordinating in a sense because they're just sitting on the point and kind of doing their job. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be very tough here. Give you some extra health, little imp. Do you think? Good luck. Is there a way you can kind of get next to your team? and? Yeah, I'll... Uh, uh, whoa, he should right there. You have the beam bomb. That's a lot of twos and ones. Is he not doing massive damage anymore? Um, yeah. So yeah, the scientist blaster is kind of like a multi-hit shotgun. It, before it was kind of like one big burst of damage where it hits. Um, now it's kind of a multi-hit, and the further away you try to shoot it, it won't do as much damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess you know how shotguns and games usually work. But you can still hit from but, across the map, can't you? With it? Yeah, uh -huh. you can still kind of snipe with it, but it's very uh, weak. Weak, yeah. And it's actually even weaker still than previous Grand Warfare games. So again, they're really uh, we're trying to push the, the healing aspect. Yep. Push, uh, the zombie or he, scientists into more of the healing than the attacking. That he was was doing a lot of in previous games. This is not looking so good. They're pushing way up into your spawn just for fun. We can't get any kind of kills. Nice dodge on that. That's bad, though. Nice dodge again. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with scientists. They can just easily dodge like that. And you have three in a row? Yeah. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Like, it's just doom in here. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to do? 
And like the only zombie to ever really touch this point. <laughs> yeah, you are. And there's always at least three or four sitting on there. Do Ugh. potted plants count as defenders too? Uh, no. They did they do they, at, at one point in other games. I believe so, but not in this one. I don't even think in Garden Warfare 2. They didn't Garden for 1. I believe so, yeah. It's been a while and, since I played that one, but well, I believe yeah. it was. Anyways, they don't in here. However, there's so many defenders on that point, there's like no way. No, this is looking like a GG. Yeah. Well, that was not eventful. <laughs> Yeah, that match didn't go so well. I think but those are all of our playing players right there, except maybe at the very end there was like one engineer as well. But yeah, woo! Because <laughs> I was like the only guy doing anything. Let's see here. Yeah, second. Oh, yeah, one other player. A couple. Of, well, there's a couple of players. But I mean, oh wait, they joined at the very end. Looks like if you had gotten one more kill, you could have the most vanquishes too. Doing another turf takeover at Goopy Gully. New, another new turf takeover map. Uh, Battle for Niraville. Uh, we are defending. Yes, this is another Herbal Assault map. Uh, who should I play as for good defense? Um, a character that I haven't played as, probably. Maybe the... Maybe a new character as well? Sure. Uh, you know, space let's, Cadet? Let's try the space Cadet. That's yeah. what I was thinking, too. Mm -hmm. well, let's go. Whoop, actually, let's use one of the engineer's new abilities there. Give us a speed boost. Oh, really? That was an engineer thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Places down a sort of uh, speed trap or a speed a speed mat or whatever. All the zombies can use it to, to boost up and kind of get to wherever more quickly. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Always pretty nice to do that right at the beginning of a trip takeover map. Okay. There's right, some good damage so to start. With, yeah, so with the space cadet... It's got homing shots if you can keep the reticle uh, aimed on the plant. It's not entirely accurate, but it's pretty good. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, however. You've literally done zero damage to that thing. Yeah, because it's stupid. Oh, gosh. It's melted. Yeah, there's a pea gatling over there. Pea gatling. Yeah, guys, don't stand in the open there. No, the pea gatling is just destroying everyone. Oh my gosh. Well, oh my gosh, yeah. Woo. Okay, I'm not, I don't have any confidence in our team now. Mm -hmm. You got melted because he jumped into it and you were the first one who got shot. I don't think the other three should have all got melted by the same guy. Right, if you, one of us dies or two of us dies, for sure, stay away from that area or figure out a way around to take out the attacker. Like this way. So let's go around this side to the point. See if we can make it work. But they are capturing the point quickly as you do this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice kill on that ground town. That guy's low. That piece shooter's yep. right by you. Ah, I couldn't do anything about it, unfortunately. Nope, oh, because nope. there's another piece shooter right behind me. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, our zombie team needs to take this loss and get more coordinated for this next point. Defend the mines. All right. So we can stop the plants at the first point. That's fine. You, that usually happens unless it's a pretty dead night or whatever. But looks like we actually have a fairly full game. Yeah, actually it is a full game. Nice. Nice full cool. game. Let's play on. So defending the mines, the cheese mines here. Uh, this point, this point in particular is very, very uh, contended. Get ready for a huge holdout. Uh, let's see, who should I put over here? Um, not really think, not much comes by this way, so I guess just the standard guy. Don't want to waste them on something really good. Um, over here, yep, this is actually a pretty good spot that a lot of plants like to use to. What? You can plant a bot, melee, maybe. Yep. Oh, not now. There, nice. Engineer, help me out there with the assist. Plan a range there? Oh, you actually melting this guy though. Ah, oh, I missed, missed. That's not good. That so my R ability is essentially just a more like a little powerful laser shot. Um, quite, quite powerful, but you have to get a direct hit pretty much to actually use it effectively. Now I haven't even shown off the kind of the the space cadet's major ability yet because it's not really all that great in this. Oh, in the situation, I think. 
Actually, you know what? Maybe it could be. They got their own big guy out, so let's do the same. Transform into the... Oh gosh, now I freaking the name of the space station. Okay, well, yeah, it's the thing is, uh, Space Cadet is an interesting character that can also transform like the Air Queen can into the Oak, um, and like the Acorn. Other Space Cadets can, or like the Acorn can join onto Oak. This other Space Cadets can join onto a space station uh, to make it a really powerful thing, like a force of nature. It's actually really scary when you have a fully powered up space station with all space cadets and stuff but unfortunately it looks like i'm the only space cadet so it's gonna be a very yeah it'd be very difficult to control it and stuff and i did a kind of a poor showing with it the first time but well, it is very powerful when using the right circumstances yeah you just took a little bit too much damage before you even got over to shooting at them yeah but i get what you're saying the space cadets can all group up together yeah there right? we go got the got the r shot off so yeah again with, with this direct shot of the the r it's very hard to aim and hit, but it does 100 damage on a headshot, so just took out that Sunflower instantly. Ooh, nice All-Star with the shield, but that's going to be quickly broken. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, but the All-Star won it out. Nice. Nicely done. I should probably wait to heal up. So it's one of those areas that's kind of down lower, and everyone can shoot at you. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why this place is really difficult to hold out, and also for plants to even to take over as well. The zombies have the same sort of situation on their end. They can just stay up top and shoot down. But of course, you know, someone's got to get into the center there and take over. Nice. There you go. What's oh. the uh, range in that? Oh, missed the shot. Good oh, try ah, that. darn it. The range on that beam, the, the R ability there? No, your slam. Um, it's just that fairly little far. I was trapped a little bit, though, by the nightcaps. Um, uh, area there so I got slowed down a bit but mm -hmm. it can go kind of far let's try here I can make it to this yep so yeah about that only, far. the slam is only the the circle At, yep mm -hmm, where the circle ends up and it, it does a pretty good amount of damage and it knocks plants back but they have uh, quite a time to escape out of it you should probably get so much probably contest Ooh, like dallying though that hurts oh darn it uh, that was a bad time to transform Okay, I think I'm not going to be doing too well. It's kind of holding out in the center there because my character doesn't have so much health to begin with. He got you, but was it worth? Melee? Yep, going for the melee. Okay, I see. So not a headshot, just 83 damage, but still a good amount of damage. Come on, melee, help out. Oh, there's a sunflower pocketing that oak. That's not going to be <laughs> No. Good. I think they shot your melee out, too. I was hoping that the melee would give a one-two punch. Uh, it might have done some damage, but, yeah, it, it's gone. So I've got to get back to the mines real quick, guys. Let's go. Oh, he's uh, using a parrot drone. That's good. Good idea. We we'll also need someone to actually stand on the point to prevent it from being captured. Nice! There we go. Let it right on top of him. That'll at least get them off the point. Yeah. Double kill and the weed, so... Yeah. But... Oh, who's reviving? I don't know, but they're being brave about it. Nice, dude! Woo! Nice! Let's get out of here. Ooh. Get the there we go. Yep. Nice. Check out the sunflower. Let's hide back here. Yeah, I'm gonna get try to return the favor, dude. Yeah, there we go. Teamwork. Ooh, nice job. For the brains. Ooh, crap. Ah, I only heard it until the very last second. Ah, that chili bean bomb. Got the point. Actually, he's actually here. Get on the point. He's just standing slightly off of it. No. No. <laughs> Not contested, but there was that uh, Gatling piece Gatling over to the, the right, side. Yeah. Yeah. I, ooh, it's close. We might be able to win it. Come on, zombies. Get the brains! Here we go. Oh, he's got a lot more HP than you do. Yep. Oh, that's not. I didn't mean to push this button. Yeah, darn it. I meant to push R. Because <laughs> it takes a present X will take a long time to transform. Plus, when you transform with low health, you also stay at low health. So that wasn't going to help regardless. 
Oh no! Did they captured. Yeah, they captured it. Yeah, again, my character doesn't have a whole lot. Of, oh, decent enough amount of health, I suppose, but can take hits quite uh, easily. All right, guys. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. We got him at this next point. This next point at the fort. This one generally plants will have a lot of trouble with. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, games end here and wins for the zombies. And the thing is, if the plants do capture this point somehow, the next point is actually really difficult for the zombies to defend. So this is kind of like our last stand here if we want to really win this. Does anyone actually come over here for this thing to be useful? That's why I'm kind of thinking of putting the healing there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is he going to Gatling? No, he's too nope. bomb in there. Yep. I gotta be careful. Nice. There's probably gonna be, might be a uh, nightcap sneaking over this way. Oh, I saw. Nope. I mean, I can actually sneak, around sneak a little instead. bit. Yeah. You could fly up, maybe. Yeah. So I'm thinking there's a lot of plants. Well, hide, hide here. Hi there. <laughs> he had no yeah. idea. <laughs> Poor guy. You hit him. He's low. Just shoot him. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, okay, I made them upset. Fair enough. <laughs> I had my fun. <laughs> yeah, the beam got him. It was unfortunate it didn't hit someone the someone weaker. Oh, I, maybe? This also has been nice to me before. Yeah, me I don't up. think you want to... Oh, maybe? Yeah, all right. I don't feel like they should do this, to be honest. Oh, there was that shield there. That's why I was kind of letting them get that. You know, they get the, they get the experience points and such. Yeah, no, I mean, experience is good. Oh, it's actually, I should go... Use my healing bot. Yes. Ah, uh, refreshing. Should I just do it again? I think so. I think I will probably still have zero idea. A little short. Yeah. Ah, oh, darn it. Nope, that's no good. No that's good fun. at all. <laughs> Run. He's right there, too. Yep. Oof, overshot. Yeah, well, come on, he, l -Star, get him. He had the kill, but you just went yeah, a little too far, but he got you. Get All-Star, nice. Oh, Sunflower is low, I was trying to get him up. And I'll be faster. All-Star, yep. look that way. No, no. All-Star! <laughs> yeah, there, we go. there we go. Uh, hello. No, he already died, actually. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go for an explodey bot. I think run around the corner, try to sneak that way. Good. Then suddenly, hello. It's contested. Yep. Oh. Oh, is it right? Yeah. Galley. Oh, not P Galley. Just the ninja. No. Yeah, just ninja hiding in the corner. I figured he was still in there because he had that aura sphere up. <laughs> really. Uh, uh, but nice. TV head got it. He's gonna die. Oh. Yeah. yeah oh, most didn't... likely. Nope. Nope. He's hiding me. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. return the favor there. Up. Oh, look out! Look out! Oh, really? Yeah, that thing just melts. Yeah, it does. I think when they start shooting at you, you gotta kind of go left and right. You kind of went straight back. Yeah, I was trying to help the high, try to hide behind the the barn do door. Yeah, there. barn door. Didn't quite get there in time. Oh, they're starting to take it. Yeah. Well, this is not good. Again, if they do take it. It's a really hard to defend that last, the, the final objective. Nice shot. Oh no! Oh, no, he got what was you. That? Oh, a chili bean bomb, no! Oh, that would have been a nice kill, but now it looks like they've got the point. They might. Oh no, a nice mech imp with the explosive escape. Oh, a triple kill for the imp. Nice. It's like a chili bean bomb for the zombies. Yeah, there. those those plants were just stuck in that corner. They got themselves there and woof. Uh oh. It's probably death all looking this way, though. I imagine Gatlin's gonna come raining yeah. down. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm gonna go this way. Oh, 
Oh, oh. no, I missed the shot. Now you're probably yep, gone. Because I have to reload, and the reload takes a little while. I, I got to uh, say, the uh, the choppy frame rate really hurts some of these animations when you're trying to land on them. Yeah. Yeah, some of these attacks really rely on uh, s smooth sort of frames going on to, uh, to kind of line up with these shots and stuff. Yeah. I, I, I found that everything is obviously more difficult. Basic attacks. Oh, and I think I got that last checkpoint. Let's okay, let's it. see what we can do here. You gotta get in there. Here we go. This is the main ability of the, the space station right there, the R. Yeah. It just melts when above, when above situated it. above plants. Uh, but unfortunately, even though I was able to take out a couple plants there, they still took over that the fort. So now we gotta defend Cheese Cannon. And the thing is, this thing is huge. So to defend it is quite the monumental task for us poor zombies. <laughs> it's this big wider and they can shoot from any any angle, right? Uh, there's only uh, certain parts. I think in the beginning there's it's fine, it's fairly open. However, as it as the as it gets more and more uh, destroyed, only certain sections can be actually attacked. Mm. And that's kind of when the zombies can helpfully defend it fully. But right now, you got to take over this point here. The thing is, this point usually goes down pretty quickly for the plant. It's fairly open. Yeah. They can just charge right in and well, destroy Well, so then it. I guess your objective is not to hold it, but to really waste as much time as possible. It, yeah, exactly. Okay, charging in like that's not necessarily the thing you want to do. There's probably going to be some plants running over to the sides and maybe sneaking in from that way. But I guess right now they're just relying on some summon plants to, uh, or summon weeds to, what the heck is, shoot it. It's in <laughs> so, the ground yeah, for it. Okay, wow, that took a long time to take out that one little weed. Yeah, that was not very impressive. Oh, if you had done the, a better yeah. timing. Now you're now you're doomed. Hit him. Yeah. He's low. Yeah, but I was also pretty low too. And <laughs> there's a bunch of plants over there. I think they already took it over, the, the point that is. So yeah, now... With, they took over the point to fire the cheese cannons, which that's what they've been doing. They've been following the pipeline, taking yep. over the points so they can get the cheese cannons or cheese into the cannons to stop or the giant uh, cheese drill. Thing. Yeah, drill. I guess, yes. Um, well, no, they haven't taken over yet. Okay, so we're still just trying to defend the cheese cannons. They did, and then it went back all the way to purple. I didn't know you could recapture it. Ah. Uh, darn it. Yeah, again. Space Cadet can't really do too much on her own. She really works well with other Space Cadets. I probably should switch to another zombie. But no, we've gone this far with Space Cadets. We can do it. Oh, also, yeah, Space Cadet has a double jump. I kind of forgot about that. And also a slight hover, hover. too. Yeah, yeah. and that's the hover. Yep, yeah. but a double jump is also pretty useful to help get over gaps and such. But meanwhile, the... Okay. Meanwhile, the, the plants will spend all our time trying to take out the cheese cannons, so they're kind of easy pickings. But they are doing damage to but it. But they are doing damage, yeah. Because it's just the one giant thing you gotta attack. <laughs> but the, the the point to defend changes. So, when when that happens, it might be our chance to... for the bean bomb, yeah. What the heck? Ah, I really need to get an upgrade that can give me more ammo. I well, keep running out of ammo at the wrong time. Your bullets are so weak and, and bad. And they're weak, yeah. Again, they're nice in that they do kind of lock in Are they? Because they're missing <laughs> all the shots. Because well, uh, they're too close see, or like, something. See, I'm not necessarily aiming right at the nightcap, yeah. but it's still hitting. So it's like, it's got some, it's got some pauses, but yeah, it is really weak. Oh my gosh, ooh. Shoot over there. But my gun can get around the corner. You can't. Yeah. Nice. Hi, plant. The party. Oh, good, good stopped it. Yeah, stopped, stopped the pea shooter right there. Ah, darn it. Ah, it's really hard to aim it. Oh, gosh. I got a hair. 
probably should save it for a human and not a weed. Yeah. But it does come back. Uh, 15 seconds. It takes a little while, yeah. yeah. There you go. Look out for bean bombs. Okay, oh, nope. nope, good. Tackled. Nice. Doing good here. Yeah, see, they've got to get to a certain specific point to attack. Mm -hmm. and that's why right now it's kind of at a standstill at 44%. You got to try to attack that weak spot yeah. while it's, the panels are rotating. It they is really they difficult. Don't have, they don't have to be at this angle, though. They could kind of hit it from slight other angles. Yep, slightly, but it is very difficult. This is pretty much the one spot they got to get to. But there are a couple of situations. They can Yeah, so it's really useful nice. against the stationary opponents. Of course, any sort of attack is good against stationary, stationary opponents. opponents yes. Yeah, but it's really easy when uh, actually that's a that's a problem with the auto aim. I'm trying to aim at its feet or the face, but it it tries to hit the body instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're getting to it. Must have found the angle. Oh, come well, on. Well, direct him, can't get him. There we go. Someone else got him, I think. No, finally got him. Wow. Okay. Uh, I was hoping for a lucky shot there. That's why I did that. That would have been pretty cool. But no, I, I guess he just fired that so he gets slow down. Oh, take out the hypno stream. Otherwise, it'll go crazy. Uh. There we go. Nice. Ah, oh, gosh. Look out. Oh, there you are. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine with me. <laughs> Up there? Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm just a big target for all the enemies. There. Yeah. Oh, it's getting close. Doing fairly well. You can kind of hear about the, as the the siren gets higher, higher pitch. It means it's getting lower and lower health. Twenty percent in about a minute. Uh, yep. I must, okay. Oof. All right. Last twenty percent. I think now it's gonna be rotating even faster and stuff. Everyone's dying over there. Oh, ninja. Yep. Get out of nice. here. Gonna put up some more bots. Range ones to annoy them. Yep. There. There we go. 17%. It's really close. I thought Sunfire should have probably healed that guy instead. Uh, hmm. Interesting to be a chomper at this point. I haven't seen a chomper yet. I wonder why you switched to a chomper. Yeah, that seems weird when you're trying to do a range. Yeah. Okay. Topic, buddy. Uh oh, he should have. Can't catch up with the fee shooter. No, but I, that's enough the time to just to distract him, and we actually won it! Woo! Nice! Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, That's everyone. Some, yeah. yep, go ahead and watch and join the show, everyone. <laughs> or you can be a part of it if you want. There I am, way down the bottom. I saw killing them jump in there. Wait. Oh, now they're crushed. Wait, there we go! Whee! <laughs> Wait, there I am. Ah, uh, yeah, I jumped in. <laughs> but this is what Dr. Zombus was building all the way out here. What? It's up into the sky. What could it be? Up into space, even. <coughs> yep. Let the whole universe know that Earth belongs to the zombies. Ha <laughs> ha! The zombies have it. Woo! Wow, we actually defended the drill. You saw how close it got there. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember playing that one before, you, that map. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. Long time, well, obviously, a long time when the game first came out, obviously, because mm. I don't remember much of it. But hey, that was a good match, and 
team pulled through at the very end. Yeah. I think we could have probably held that third point instead, but uh, you know what? Defended the fourth point, so that's all that matters. Got the victory in the Indeed. end. Indeed. Well, good job, Enob. Let's take a look at that scoreboard, see how we did overall. Okay. Nice coins are earned. Nice. Yeah, oh, slightly helped. above uh, 1.0 V2 Vanquished. Top uh, of the team on the top score. Top of the team. Nice. I like that. 31 Vanquishes. Wow. I uh, only got beat up by a plant who was doing a little bit more, but Yeah, the really one good. nightcap was just killing it, but uh, uh, I was doing pretty well for my team. Woo! And even well, as a space cadet, which, again, works best in a team of space cadets in that space station, but even by herself can do pretty well if you maneuver around a lot. Um, and with Nintendo Switch Online, uh, at least with this version of the game as well, it's a bit choppy. So it can be kind of hard to aim shots, especially with uh, her laser beam shot. Um, but once it does hit, it does a good bit of damage. But again, you do have to fight against some of the uh, the frame drops and such going on here. Some of the frame drops and the lag. Mm -hmm. but we hope you all enjoyed this. It's still uh, pretty enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, ho we yeah, hope yeah. you all enjoyed this yeah. turf mm -hmm. takeover as we played through on the Nintendo Switch. And go ahead and crouch up the like button. We'll see you next time. Till then, GG. Bye. Bye.